Hello and good day, or good evening, whatever it is for you. Um, I was listening to a live stream with Just Kay, and she was talking about um, the dangers of um, pitfalls, and she was calling them uh, demonic and uh, <laughs> murders and that they was eating people and uh, that they were evil um this this is not a description i would give to any animal but the the point she wanted to make is that uh, this is a bad breed the dog breed is bad and because of that um she, she basically implies that uh, we should um, get rid of this breed. We, we should not allow it to... Um, um, we, we, we should not continue breeding these kinds of dogs. I think there is a problem with this approach. If, if you if you want to argue for that a breed should not be bred, uh, uh, in my opinion, it's not a good idea to uh, blame the breed itself. And the reason for that is because you can always, and I have to add here first, when we talk about pit bulls, pit bulls is not just one breed. It's an umbrella term for several breeds and uh, the characteristics of these breeds are uh, somewhat different. Uh, I'm not going to go into it, but I'm just making that point that pit bull is not just one breed. There is several breeds of pit bull. And basically, they are, are, uh, are a mix of bulldog and uh, terrier. Bulldog, bulldog terriers. Anyway, so if, if you make the argument that the breed is bad, uh, what you're basically saying is there is a problem with the breed. The counter argument then is obviously, yeah, of, yeah, there is a problem, but it can be, be fixed, you know. And then you could make uh, another argument, uh, counter argument to say that, no, it's not true. And, uh, and, and saying that they're giving an example of um, that they're perfectly okay dogs. And this is true. There are pit bulls that li li like are okay. And um, the, the, the point is that when you say the problem is with the animal, then you could make um, then it becomes a point of view because you can have that other point of view to say no it's not a problem with the animal what I think is that if you want to ban a breed you have to not uh, I should have put it not blame the, the animal but blame the guardian of the animal that is to say the owner and um, and showing that it's irresponsible to let people have uh, this kinds of dog and you can do that without uh, demonizing the breed itself uh, f just an example guns guns has one one and only one purpose to inflict damage that's why guns exist there is no other use of guns more than to inflict damage and uh, <laughs> but we don't say guns are evil we, we we say that the person who is using the gun is responsible for how the gun is used and a pit bull is a little bit like a gun and why do I say that well the reason is pit bulls are bred to be fighting dogs they are bred to fight with other dogs. They are bred to bite. They are bred to like 
fighting. They are bred to not. They are bred to uh, uh, in such a way that if they are bitten, they don't care, and they they are. And this is why pit bulls, when they bite, they latch on. They never let go. And this is also why pit bulls is very. Uh, a, uh, dogs that is full of energy they they are like unstoppable and um, the th the point here is that there is a characteristics in these dogs there is a purpose with these dogs which is not to be a pet or not be friendly it's bred to be aggressive and it's bred to like to be aggressive and it's bred not to care if it gets beaten up itself because that's what you those are the characteristics you want uh, with, with a uh, fighting dog and it's bred to kill so when 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 um, when um, when just in case they are eating people I, I don't think they're eating people they're just trying to kill you by shooing you up, maybe it looks like eating. I don't know, but like how, how if you if you eat in quotation mark a person, you you you're going to kill them. So this is this is part of their in quotation mark playing behavior. And um, just and, and and since this purpose of them is to fight, it's. That's why I draw the similarities with a gun. It's it's the purpose of it is to destroy, and you could say the purpose of a pit bull is also to destroy, and that means it's not a toy and it's not a pet. A gun is not a toy; should not be handled as a toy. And and um, the the argument you then could make is without demonizing the breed, with acknowledge that it's just normal dog. But it has this tendency to uh, like fighting and biting and all this stuff. We can we can then say that uh, there is a la latent danger with a dog, just as there is a latent danger with a gun. And because there is a danger with guns, we don't give them to children because we consider children not to be. Um, uh, they can't handle the responsibility of having a gun so we don't give guns to children but in doing so we don't say guns are bad we just acknowledge that children can't handle guns and the same thing is with the with the uh, pit bull if you sell it as a pet dog it's the same thing as giving guns to children and you don't give guns to children and for the same reason, pit bulls should not be sold as pet dogs. If there should, if if we should have allowed breeding of pit dogs, it's it's in my opinion, sh you have to be certified to get a pit bull. You can't just go in, and um, you should not be able to just go in a, 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 in an animal store and, and buy a pit bull. And. That, I think, is a better argument than trying to make that argument that the breed is bad, because the breed isn't bad. It's just doing what they naturally do. And I think, <laughs> think it can be hard for us to understand that, that animal isn't evil or cruel, and I, 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 because we are not the animal, and, and it's hard for us to understand why, why did the pit bull attack. Well, we don't know. We don't know what triggers this in them, but we know they they have a, a natural tendency to wanting to do that. And it may be, like Human Animal pointed out uh, in just case live stream, that, uh, you know, children, they are small and they squeal. And maybe that triggers that behavior in the dogs. I, I, I'm you saying, I don't know what it is. It can be anything. If I were a dog, I could, I would know, but I wouldn't be able to tell you because I'm a dog. Yeah. And, and uh, let's pause it to collect my thoughts. Okay. So, um, so the the 
the point here is that it's irresponsible to just sell pit bulls as um, um, pet dogs because they will end up with people most likely with people who uh, is not able to meet the dog's needs and if you don't meet the dog's needs then the dog will try to meet its needs by itself and the need the need of a pit bull is to fight so we should not be surprised when we see that pit bulls are leading the statistics or or uh, or, or um, uh, inflicted injuries uh, or, or bite things and all this stuff it should not come to a surprise at all but <laughs> in the same way it does not should not surprise us if we give guns to children that there will be a lot of uh, gun incidents but that doesn't mean we are going to uh, ban guns all right or maybe someone wants to ban guns for that children but for that reason but it's not it's not going to the root of the problem the root of the problem is that you are handing something that is potentially dangerous into the hand of somebody who does not have have the capability to handle the responsibility of that dangerous thing that's the point so what i'm saying is don't blame the breed blame the owner i'm not saying that the owner has bad intention and these things i'm just saying that we we don't most of us won't understand the needs the dog has and for that reason the dog is going to do things we don't want the dog to do and therefore we should you should make the argument that the dog breed should not be uh, uh, allowed and um, i think that's a more helpful view than <laughs> to to go around and say animals are evil because if you want to go do that you could um, you could look at a human uh, uh, have a human human centric view project on animals cats are perfect because then cats are psychopaths they are serial killer they are they are totally crazy those domestic cats if anything is evil then is a domestic cat because they would match perfectly the the, <laughs> the pattern of a psychopath they like to torture small animals they like to kill they like to maim them and sometimes that I, I could tell stories about cats that is like, like incredible to what length cats go to kill small animals and it's not because they're hungry or need to uh, catch a prey they actually uh, catch prey just because they can because it's fun and that's what the psychopath do but cats are not psychopaths it's in the nature to do these things and we don't blame them for being evil because cats are not evil but they are still killers and it's the same thing with pit bulls they are not evil they are not murders uh, they are not demonic it's it's in their nature to do these things they do and uh, it's not random what they do but we don't understand why they do it and because we don't understand it we can't prevent it and that's my point it's we as as owners that carries the ultimate responsibility but we can't handle that responsibility because we can't predict the dog's behavior and therefore we should not have such dogs well this coming to an end and um, thank you for listening and have a good day. Bye bye.